Santa came a little early this year and brought a new 2018 Ezi Lion. The 7 square meter is new for 2018. Allez, hop, c'est parti! And the idea is to use this new 70 to complement my um, existing 85 Ezi Lion 3 that I bought in 2016 and replace both Ezi Cheetah's 75 and 65 that I've been using so far. My son is helping me uh, and is doing a great job unboxing. And uh, right from the get go, Ezi is putting a lot of uh, the various different fabric swatches. And uh, of course the cambers, here we go, beautiful cambers for different size mast, standard and reduced. And it is a Lion 70. So here we go, you're going to unroll, there's a bunch of different things. So we have rigging guides, uh, different labels, inspection labels, warning labels and a little uh, key holder, pretty cute. So let's unroll the sail and see what it looks like. Pretty bright, nice colors. So I really like the two camber on this sail. My 8.5 is one of my favorite sails and I believe this one will be as well. The positive draft on the sail is uh, providing a lot of power for early planing and the narrow mast leave uh, that really helps with water start and that's a, a feature that's great for a two cambered sail. What's important here is to thread the mast uh, by putting the mast over the cambers. and threading it by twisting the mast inside the sleeve helps as well. Then the extension. What's unique about a two-cambered sail is the fact that uh, you have a couple more steps in the rigging, which are really not that difficult. What you have to do is you have to downhaul and leave about 10 to 15 centimeter uh, at the bottom of the sail uh, and not downhauling the sail right at first all the way. And then switch to uh, putting the, the boom on and uh, outhauling the sail as much as you can so that it makes it flat. And finally, uh, that allows you to pop in the cambers very easily without any effort. And then the last thing I need to do is to downhaul the sail to the desired uh, dimensions and uh, outhauling for fine tuning the sail. So it's really not that difficult to rig a cambered sail, especially the Lion is extremely simple and the sail comes with plenty of foolproof tuning guides. It doesn't take more than an extra minute or two to rig the line versus a non-cambered sail. You might have noticed I didn't bother to adjust the batten tension because unfortunately the sail isn't going to see any action before spraying. And also I realized I didn't downhaul the sail as much as I should. It's a little flat, but that's okay. I think it looks great and uh, pretty happy about it. <laughs>